Hey YouTube, this is Tushar and this is the part 1 of Build and Deploy React Movie Info App and in this video we'll just set up the project so that we can start working on React so that project will have all the functionality which uh, like Babel which can convert ES6 and JSX into ES5 or you can say vanilla JavaScript so we don't have to set up web, webpack for us so Facebook has a Facebook has a package React React app which you can use and we'll get the all uh, project structure set up. So let's see how to do that. So we have to we have to download install create React app package from using npm or yarn. But since I already have it, I'll remove it so that I can show you how to install it. So I'll uninstall it. Empty create react app. So this will uninstall that. So I can check if it is there. No, it's not there. So let it. So now what I will do is I'll install it. It's very simple. You have to npm install hyphen g because you want to install it globally. You just do create react app and it will install it. As simple as that. After installing it, uh, you can give any name to your project. So let's see if it is there now. Yeah, we have it. You can see it's version 1.3.0. So to uh, create a project directory, you have to give your project a name. So first of all, we have to write create react app and your project name. My project name will be movie info app. So once I'll do that, So it will initialize the project, it will fetch everything React, React Tom, React Script, and Webpack, Babel, whatever is required for your project, it will fetch it. As you can see, it is fetching all the necessary packages and the dependencies dependencies required by the packages. It will take some time. And the best part of this uh, package is you don't have to set up the webpack. Babel, you don't have to install the dependency, you don't have to set up webpack.config.js. So now it, it is installed. What it is saying is you can start the development server with command yarn start. So we don't need to do this all uh, right now apart from yarn start. But before doing yarn start, what we have to do is you can see here we suggest that you begin by typing cd movie info app. Yeah, we have to go inside our uh, our project so we'll type cd movie info app now we are on in our project now we can uh, open it via sublime now what it is saying that after going into your project setup you can do yarn start let's do yarn start real quick As you can see, it started the server, starting the development server. So whatever uh, project setup was there, like whatever the HTML and everything that project has will show over here because we have not write even a single line of code. As you can see, we have not written it, but we get some amount of uh, somewhat code in our in HTML page. As you can see here, app is running at localhost 2000. And to create a production build, you can do the uh, yarn run build, which we don't have to do right now. So now let's see the project structure. So inside our project structure, we have node modules, which have all the modules such as React, React uh, DOM, Babel, and whatever is required for the project. This public file has have the index.html file. 
So, so this is the thing which we require for React uh, coding. Like we don't write anything in HTML. We just give it a DOM node, and React will render all the HTML inside it. And if you go to SRC, you have app.css, app.js, app.test.js, index.css, index.js, and logo.rpg. And package.json has all the dependencies. So I want, I don't want this. I just want to start from scratch. So I have to remove it. So what it is saying is to get started, edit SRC slash app.js file. So let's go to app.js file. We have this. We want to remove this logo, and I want to remove everything. Now you will come back. Okay. So it is giving an error because syntax error. So let's fix it real quick. So now if you'll see we got hello world so this is the uh, main file from where we will start our coding in react to build our mo uh, react movie info app and we'll fetch data from an api uh, i am omdb api we'll fetch the data from there uh, i don't want this app.css so i can remove everything in, in, from, from it but I require this app.css because I can write my inline style. Then it would, if you can see, it has been imported here, so it will be effective if I write whatever the style I will write for my app. So yeah, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will start coding in React, and we'll start seeing how to uh, start thinking about the structure of uh, about the structure of our movie info app. How many components it will have. So thanks for watching this video, I'll see you in the next video.